What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new game review for you today. Oh, and by the way, quick note, hello from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan and a little town called Cedarville. Anyway, in today's discussion, I'll be looking at Revolt. This game was ported to nearly everything. First appeared on the PC, then went to PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, and was even ported over to the Sega Dreamcast. The Nintendo 64 port was developed and published by Acclaim and had a North American release of August 18th, 1999. Revolt is an arcade kart racer where you race small toy RC cars. These RC cars are so light and agile that they can turn them on a dime or go across ramps. The developers at Acclaim definitely took full advantage of this game with its development. You can notice this by when you're racing through some of these courses. It allows you to go around tight corners at just ridiculously ways or jumping off ramps or even curbs. You race, or I should say some of the courses in this game, have you race across residential streets, a small playground, a little maze, or a wooded footist forest area, excuse me. There's a nice wide variety of carts to use that will fit your playstyle no matter what it is. One quick note about the controls for this game is that they take a bit to get used to. The handling can feel very twitchy at first. And because of this, and because of how light and small the RC cars are, you may sometimes find you're turning too fast, or you crash into a wall, or you get turned around. It can also be an issue if you get hit with an item in the early going and you don't quite know how to recover the right way. Speaking of items, Revolt has your standard assortment of weapons to use, such as boosts, shields, missiles, oil slicks, or other projectiles. You're going to want to use these to win through and race in one of five different cups, which is how you unlock more carts, or if you don't want to race in there, you can play the stunt mode where you perform tricks and try to get a high score or you also have your standard time trial, multiplayer, and practice mode. All in all, Revolt isn't a bad port for the Nintendo 64, but aside from the novelty of racing small toy RC cars, there's not really much else to this game. If you enjoy kart racing games, then hey, give this game a check. But if you prefer your racing games with more of a realistic simulation appearance, then you could probably find better elsewhere. I would say this game's really high up on the list of racing games for the Nintendo 64. But like I said, if you enjoy kart racers, then check this game out. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and a share. If there's a game you want to see me talk about, Leave me a comment down below, and I'll see what I can do. I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy, tumultuous times, and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks, everybody. Bye.